No one book. And still, it's like I'm the last of the real. It's like I'm the last of the. Last time you did um, you did the intro. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are oh, oh, we recorded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. Oh, man went straight in. Didn't even say hi. <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens, um. When you meet people for the first time, you know, they show you a lot of respect. But when you get close to them, they just... <laughs> it's all right, though, man. Go on, man. It's your podcast. Go no, on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Go on. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Right. In the, f- in the first episode, you did the intro. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want to do the intro again or do you want to do, do the, the intro, intro again? Okay. So let's see if I can remember. Um, okay. Guys, welcome to the podcast, The Lost of the Real. Why is it called Velasa the Real? Uh, my friend made a song and uh, the name kind of stuck with me. All right, cool. That's a great I think, story. I think, I think it's a good name for a podcast. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to another podcast, The Last of the Real. This is episode number two with Halu and Amir. So I should put your name first because it was your podcast mm-hmm. with Amir and Halu. The first, uh, the, the first podcast done well. Yeah, it did. What? And no one has surpassed it yet. No one has surpassed it. Like, like I was the first... The first podcast, right? Well, like one of the first, like one of the very few podcasts. Yeah. Since then, big names came on here and that. People, you know. And they, they can't catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, it's not about followers, isn't it? It's not about followers. If you were came with big followers, what, what, what? How many views you got, though? How many views you got, though? <laughs> have you have you beat my? Have, oh, you haven't. All right, then. Let's just hope, let's just hope this one doesn't surpass your views. <laughs> Joke, man. Do you reckon this one will pass the first one? I reckon it will. Uh, be. No, no, but because you- because the first one. Sorry to interrupt you. Well, the well. first one for like a whole year, I kept it secret how me and Amina met. Yeah, like yeah, basically yeah. like me and Amina's story in it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, when yeah. people realize, oh, oh, you told them the juicy. Yeah, yeah the first so time. yeah, people was clicking in it. People yeah, are nosy, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So unless we do some clickbait, can do. Yeah. Am I get ready. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll, I'll start with the clickbait. Amina did what to you? <laughs> Bro, she um, she broke my car, like my car screens and stuff. Because yeah, I got, I got married to a second wife. <gasps> I got married again. Who's that? I can't tell you, man. Secret, man. My first wife, I don't show her face. My second wife, nobody, nobody knows her. It's gonna be completely secret. But yeah, man. Oh man. Clickbait. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Moving on. Do you know what? I'm gonna take this off. Take it because off. what happened was um. I thought I'd look cool with a man bag on. Yeah. But it's very uncomfortable. Take off. So I'm gonna take off, yeah? Good. Hashim behind the camera today. Yeah. And, and Box bags. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Box so box. let me get comfortable, let me get comfortable. All right, cool. So this is when the podcast starts, yeah? Yeah. Go. How you been since the first episode? Good. Because you me. have gained so, oh bro, you are on TikTok live. You are a very popular man. Yeah, man, it's, uh, you know, it's, yeah. uh, it's not easy. It's not easy to do what I do, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to sound, I don't want to sound um, arrogant or vain, but uh, I absolutely deserve it. Um, I put a lot of hard work into this content. Um, it's not easy, you know, making all of you laugh, do you know what I mean? So it's, um, you know, it's a blessing, it's a blessing. Yeah, can't complain. Alhamdulillah. Bro, TikTok live is popping off though, man. I know, man. I enjoy oh it, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally go live. Bro, what the... The second you go live... I know, it's crazy. The second you go live... 400, 500, 600. I know. Oh, no, oh my God. I He's know. back. He's and back. And the thing is... Oh, my God. <laughs> TikTok live is different. Because I went live on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, my God. So dead, man. The vibes are dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. The energy's dead. But on TikTok, it's something different, man. TikTok, I, I actually do enjoy going live. The minute I go on your TikTok live, all I hear is, so no one told you life was gonna be this way. Listen, man. Uh, that's, that's a, <laughs> that's a fr- marketing strategy yeah, for friends. Friends, friends should sponsor me, honestly, at this, at this point. Do you know what it is? It's uh, psychological. Everyone knows friends. Yeah. See, I'm giving away my technique. Everyone knows friends. Yeah. Everyone feels comfortable with friends. Yeah. So with friends in the background, it suddenly makes you feel comfortable. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It makes it you is, feel it's like it's quite wholesome. Yeah. It's quite, yeah, it's quite listen, calming. Listen, listen. I'm not. I'm not just good looks. Man's got brains. <laughs> Marketing strategies, all patterns. Someone Photoshop Harlow's face in the group of friends. Someone put his face with friends. Someone get a picture and put it together. Or put it into like a like a video, a TikTok video. Like you know the intro, friends. Mm. 
So in between the intro, someone needs to put your face in there. <laughs> you know where they would do all the credits and someone when it goes like Rachel and she's like doing her thing. Mm. <laughs> that would be sick. That'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, by the way, listen, um I told him the first episode, yeah, he's laugh. I don't know why he laughs like that. But I told him about this time, but listen, guys, leave him alone. That's his yeah, laugh. All right. No, do you know what they, they appreciate now? No, oh, do they? They actually do. Do you know what he is? He's a bit like um, Jimmy Carr. No, Jimmy Carr? Is it Jimmy, Jimmy Carr? Jimmy Carr. <laughs> That's like your sort of laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your laugh is just. But you know what they say? They say but the I, ones. I, the, they say the ones with the most annoying and ugly laugh are the, are the ones that are the most nicest and funniest. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a fact. I just made that up. His right. laugh is actually the best. <laughs> oh my god, that is so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you're freaking him out the comedy club. Bro, you're freaking him out. Bro, comedy club. Me and I went to a comedy club, a stand up night. This guy just starts, he bursts out laughing at a joke. No way. The comedian, the comedian had to stop. He goes, who is, whose ugly laugh is that? <laughs> I had to stop the show halfway because whose ugly laugh is that? You know when you have to stop a comedian halfway through a joke. I know, but you know what? When you have an ugly laugh, it's hard. It's hard because yeah. you want to laugh, but you can't laugh because you know your laugh's ugly. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. And when you do laugh, it's like you just ruin the whole joke because your laugh is that ugly. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, what's been on your mind since? Anything bothering you? Anything that you've seen recently that's been like, oh, I may I want to talk about that? Oh. Only thing is, why am, I, why am I not there? Why am I not there though? I'm seeing face after face, individual after individual, get chance after chance. Yeah. Still, I'm not getting nothing. Still, I'm getting nothing. And this, I'm just waiting, man. Waiting. Any managers, agencies that you don't know of, please shout this guy. Get into his DMs. If, if you're a manager Listen, and you need more clients. All I'm saying is this, shout me now because if I do eventually make it, don't shout me because I'll air you. I'm just saying now, I'll air you. I'll air you. I'll just leave you on scene. You know, in fact, I will, I'll double tap on your like, on your message, or I'll reply to your email. But this is... But I just, it was, I'm saying. But, but, but that's why... But that, well, then how are you going to expect to make it? No, because listen, right now, I need your help. If you don't want to help me now, don't come to me when I'm at top. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's so like right now, I'm in the conference. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I just got promoted to League 2. Now, I'm trying to go to League 1, Championship, Premier League. Don't flip and message me when I'm in the Champions League and I'm in the Premier League. Don't do that when I'm fighting for the top four. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now is the greatest time because we're going to work together. Mm. But if I'm there, hey, listen, man, respect yourself and respect me, please. No. Yeah. Wait, wait, so no one has reached out to you? No. To manage nothing? No, man. It's so, so emotional, man. Social How media. How would you feel if a manager went to Amina first before they came to you? No comment. No comment. <laughs> I no I comment. start flipping tables. No comment. <laughs> no comment. No comment. I can't. I can't comment on that. I can't. You can't, no, you can't even comprehend. I can't. Oh, you would Because if I think about it, I saw I go home and say, I get angry. I get angry. I get angry. I get angry. <laughs> You're gonna go home now and start flipping tables. Don't make me call. I'll call her right now. Just the idea. Bro. Something I want to talk about with you today is a topic that I wanted to discuss with you and I feel like you'll be really interesting to talk about with. Yeah. And it is, should your parents have a say on who you should marry? Should your parents have a say mm. on who you should marry? That is, that is going to take a very detailed long answer. Okay. The answer is yes. They should have a say. Mm. They should have a say. But that, but that, yes, that's the short answer. They should have a say. But they shouldn't dictate their say. See that? Okay. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. They should have a say. Of course, every parent should have a say. Yes, I agree. No, I don't agree. Why I agree? Why I don't agree? But they shouldn't. They shouldn't um, dictate their their say and their opinion on your decision. So you're saying like, let's say if your parents disagreed for you to be with Amina, um, but then you're like, 
No, no, I don't. I if, don't want to. In my eyes, when I got married, before yeah. I got married to Amina, I knew Amina ticked a, a lot of the boxes for me. Yeah. So if my mom gave me a valid reason, a valid reason why I shouldn't marry Amina, I would I would have not married her. Mm. Valid reason like oh she smokes, she drinks, she doesn't pray, she doesn't yeah. dress appropriately. Something valid, but if she goes, oh no, um, Amina doesn't speak our language, yeah. or Amina is not from our country or from our culture, yeah. that's not a valid reason. That's just that's just your whatever. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But if it was a valid reason, then I will, I would not got married. But you see that the um, the thing about that these days is like, you know, parents have become very selfish, bro. Yeah, parents, and I get it a lot of my DMs. Mm. Because uh, for some reason people think just because I have followers that I have the answer to every relationship problem and dilemma. Yeah. Um, the issue is parents care more about their family name and how they look to people instead of their own ch- child. Yeah. Now I'm going to repeat that again, yeah, and just really deep what I'm saying to you, yeah, really, really deep it. There's parents out here that care more about what people. Strangers, yeah, cousins or family, whatever, think more about them, how they look, instead of their own child's happiness. Yeah, that's true. Why do you get do you get parents um, DMing you? No, but, no but, but just just the youngers. I get people messaging me saying, "Bro, I want to get married, but my parents will never accept." And what's the reason oh. they don't accept? Is because different culture. Different cultures. Yeah. It's, it's There's no such thing as Islam anymore, bro. There's only cultural Islam. Mm. There's no such thing as Islam anymore. It's all about cultural Islam. Different people with different opinions and different. How can you have an opinion about something that's fact? How can you have an opinion on something that's fact? If well, the prophet, I mean, if the prophet says, as long as they're Muslim, get married. Yeah. But you, but you're, but no, 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 no. Listen, my child has to marry my culture, my language. So you allow your children to marry whoever they want. Prefer it. Listen. I would prefer my children to marry someone Kurdish. Okay. But if they marry somebody who's Muslim, as long as they're Muslim, and not Muslim by name, someone who's actually Muslim, mm. like Muslim, you know what I mean? I don't want my flipping- She's not here to speak for herself, what would Amina do? I think Amina's the same. Yeah? Yeah, Amina's the same. As long as they're Muslim. I can't really tell my child, or oh, marry a Kurdish, or oh, but he's, he'll be like, so why'd you marry mum then? Mum's not Kurdish. Yeah, and I'll be like, oh true. yeah, you're right. <laughs> Look at this hypocrite. Yeah, so. <laughs> As long as they're Muslim, man, that's the thing. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. With all due respect, I don't really want to go to my son's or my, or my daughter's house and, mm. you know, she's married to a Christian or a Jew or an atheist or something like that, do you know what I mean? Or a Hindu, bro. I don't, I don't, because it's just like the religion for me is the most important thing. Then other things mm. comes along with it. What did that guy ask me? I'm going to ask him this as well. Um, do you need, um, if, as long as have religion in your relationship or in, in life does culture matter yeah do you need do you need culture if you have religion no no Amina's Amina's flipping Arab mm. she's like half Sudanese half Libyan different cultures compared yeah. to me I'm Kurdish we've never had a cultural indifference or, clash, or, yeah, or like yeah. a cultural clash or like mm. a thing where I'm like this is a bit Oh, man, I can't do this. Or no, man, that's that's all fairy tale, man. That's all fairy tale, man. It's all flipping. It's all flipping over exaggerated. It's all overrated, bro. It's like, tell me, tell me, like what what culture? That's what I'm saying. And if it's a different religion, then that's the different. Yeah, yeah, different religion, bro. Like, as a Muslim, you know what I'm saying you go to different religion, and they have different mad mad different cultures and stuff. Mm. But as Muslims, bro, what's it's all overrated, man. The only different cultures is like you wear different clothes, or you or you eat different food, or you do something differently. But it's nothing like major. Where like, yeah, man, I can't do that, bro. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as long as they're Muslim, I don't see any. I could be wrong, mm. but as long as they're Muslim, I don't see really anything that's major. Like yo, but I'm talking from my experience, though, guys. I'm talking from my experience. Mm. Maybe there's some of you out there that have, that's had different experiences. Maybe if I had a different experience, I'd be talking differently. So when I talk. I talk from my my experience, my opinion, mm. plus what I've heard of other people's experiences. So don't take what I say as facts. People have this delusion, this 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 flipping mindset that just because me and Amina have a, um, a following on social media that we 
have the answer to marriage or we have the aunt no we don't yeah, yeah, yeah so just because i say something or she mm. says something like what we recommend doesn't mean it's facts do you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah so please guys when i say something if you agree agree if you don't agree then clearly they, each to their own man yeah each to their own yeah but yeah. if you agree you agree if you don't agree then clearly there's something wrong with you because <laughs> Because I'm never wrong. At first, it was wholesome, and then he's like, Do you know what? Maybe you're the No, because, because, I mean, I'm never wrong. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I talk facts. <laughs> I mean, I'm never wrong. I talk facts. Trust me, bro. I talk facts. When, when, when the wisdom comes out, the knowledge comes out, bro, listen, people, people underestimate me. People think this guy does comedy, bro, listen. Sit down with me for five minutes, I'll change your life. <laughs> All hell hollow. All hell hollow. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I'm telling As you. What, as someone hit your DMs and you read it, or anyone says something to you, let's say on TikTok Live, that you were like, oh my God, this guy, this guy is like, maybe lo- this person's lost. Of course, it's each to their own, but maybe an opinion that you've said and he disagreed and then it made you go like, oh my God. Oh yeah, the, the, there was this one 19 year old kid. I think it was from Birmingham and I made a joke and I was like, are you married? He goes, no, I wanna, I wanna, um, what's the thing that all guys say? I wanna be financially ready and all that. So I was like, what's financially ready? He goes, I wanna have my own house. And I was like, what, rent? He was like, no, I'll buy a mortgage. Yeah. It's a 19 year old Muslim. So I told him, I said, brother, it's not worth it. I was like, bro, nothing, nothing you see in this dunya do you own. I don't own this. I don't own this watch. It's all rented. Cause when I die, it's gonna stay here. I'm gone. The house. Oh, oh that was deep, bro. See? Round of applause. Did you oi, see that? Oi, the cameraman, oi, the cameraman right is clapping. Man, I said this is all rented. The cameraman is clapping, it? guys. You know listen, what? at first I owned this, yeah. At first, like literally ten seconds ago, I owned these clothes. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. bro. Listen, when now I listen, rented. you guys thought I was joking. Five minutes with me and I'll change your life, bro. <laughs> five minutes, five minutes with me and I'll change your life, bro. Bro, sit down with me, yeah. Bro, listen, I will make you see this world in a different way, bro. I'm telling you, bro. People don't understand the wisdom and the knowledge that's that's inside his brain. People underestimate, bro. People think, oh, I'm a comedian. Bro, listen. Listen, listen. So I told him, I said, look, that house that you're paying mortgage for, you're basically paying rent with interest. You're basically paying paying rent. So instead of paying rent, you're paying rent with interest. Mm. And plus, you're gonna make that house a haram home for you and your wife. And the interest is not a joke. It's not like me if it's not like me if I was to slap your face, bro. That's that's a sin. If I was to take your phone, that's a sin. But interest, Allah says, the one who gives and takes interest, riba, wages a war with Allah and the Messenger of Allah. Do you know what war is, brother? Do you know who you're gonna go war with? With your creator? How can you even imagine going to a war with your creator. Mm. And I'll give you, and then people will say, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. This guy's only saying it because he's broke, because he can't afford it. So I was like, brother, like, I, I'm not talking from my, from my own opinion. I'm talking the facts of the religion, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Again, yeah. going back to the first point, yeah. there's no longer flipping Islam anymore, but it's all cultural Islam. Mm. Like me and Amina two years ago, we wanted to buy a house because I was like, Amina, man, why am I paying rent? Paying someone else's mortgage, man. Let's just buy a house. Yeah. And we looked at this avenue, the Islamic Bank is just literally the most dodgiest thing. Islamic Bank is basically like, they charge you interest, but they don't charge you interest. They, they do it a different way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They understand it's all dodgy anyways. And then you go to this sheikh and this sheikh and that imam and that imam. And then every sheikh and imam will tell you what they think based on their opinion. If this sheikh wants to buy a house, he will tell you it's permissible. Mm. If this sheikh doesn't believe in it, he will tell you. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? It's not really worth it. Again, deep it. All this, my car, my phone, nothing. You don't own nothing. Everything is rented. And you know who's the landlord? <laughs> Allah. The, our creator is the landlord. Mm. He is the only landlord. He He's the lord of the lands. This podcast became a flipping Friday, f- flipping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Friday, <laughs> husband, bro. <laughs> wallah, 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 I'm being serious, bro. That's so much. That's, de- bro, that's deep. One. But do you know why that is? Wallah, this is why. 25 years of my life, I've never been depressed. You overthink about the past. No matter how much you overthink, you can't change it. Then you overthink about the future. What if, if I do this, if I do this. And the funny thing is you think about all these little things about the future, but you do nothing about it. You think about it, but you do nothing. And guess what? You don't think about the present. 
And why is it called the present? Because every day you're alive is a gift. So you see how right now, right now you're sitting and you're overthinking about the past. Wow, my God, why did I not do this? Why did I not do that? I should have done this, I should have done that. Yeah, what ifs, what ifs, this, that, this, that. Listen, ifs, buts or maybes. If my auntie had a penis, it would be my uncle. <laughs> it makes no sense. If you don't change now, then tomorrow you're going to regret and be depressed about the day before. You need to wake up. You need to see that there's a life to live. You don't have to be rich. Right, listen. <clears throat> For someone, let's say, who's lost their car, lost their house, doesn't have family. Okay, cool. You lost your house, you lost your car. Let's say he lost it because he's his mistake. Yeah. Bro, that's your mistake. You got to own up to it. Yeah. But let's say for whatever reason, you lost your car, you lost your house, whatever, yeah? Yeah. Okay. But if you have a family, you still have your family there. You're yeah. still alive. What if they don't have family? Then start again. Start again. <clears throat> like, like, bro, it's not, bro, you, you're not dead. That's not, bro, it, how it's can- It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, bro. Okay, if someone who doesn't own any assets, let's say, nothing. Yeah. How can you start again? Where, where, where does he go from there? That's your mindset, but you've been told that you need mm. to have asset. This is going to wake you guys up. My mom was 15 years old, right? Yeah. Back in Kurdistan, innit? Mm. And like at that at that time, people were on the street playing, yeah? Kids. My mom's... Uh, so where my mom was living with her mom, my, my grandmother, opposite them yeah. was a police officer, mm. yeah? Now she went out as a 15 year old playing on the streets, yeah? That kid took... His dad's gun, actual real gun, mm. thought it was a fake gun. Mm. Started doing this, started doing this, and then actually shot the gun by accident. It hit my mom right there in the arm. Wallahi, my mom got shot in the arm. Yeah, at the age of 15, 16, right? She got shot in the arm. She got married when she was, I think, 17 or 18. Yeah, and then gave birth to me, yeah? So, so I think she got married at 17 and gave birth to me at 18, or she got married at 18 and got, gave birth to me at 19. She said, Wallahi, the pain of birth. Yeah, she goes, I wish I could have got shot instead of giving, instead of going through the pain of birth. Bruh. So your mom is out here going through that pain to give birth to you. Mm. And you're out here thinking about, oh, why am I not a millionaire? Why don't I own a house? Why oh. don't I drive this car? It's so easy for me to say, why does this person go on this platform and this platform? Why is this person getting that many views and likes? My content is better. They're not even funny. They're doing they're doing basic shit content mm. and they're getting that many views and people love them. But that's just me putting myself in a shit mindset, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to forget that I have all these followers. I'm going to forget the people that actually love my content. And I'm going to be focused on this person, this person. There's people out here depressed mm. because they don't look beautiful. There's no such thing as beauty. Only opinions exist. Facts. There's people, listen. There's people watching this right now, yeah, thinking this brother is married? Brother, he's so ugly. But my wife thinks I'm one of the most, or if, or one of, or if not the most handsome man in the world. And I'm gonna stick right beside him. Thank you. <coughs> wallahi, my, my wife, my wife, mm -hmm. I think my wife, Wallahi, is the most mm -hmm. beautiful woman in the world. Mm -hmm. But there's guys out here that will see her and think, bro, she's so ugly. Yeah. My friend George, mm. sometimes, yeah, he's talking to a, a certain girl, will show me a girl, yeah, and, I'll, and he'll be like, bro, she's nice. I'll be like, bro, she's so ugly. Beauty doesn't oh. exist. <laughs> but beauty doesn't exist, though. Mm. So who are you trying to make? So, so, this, how can I say you it? Can't, you, can't, but you can't really call someone ugly, though. Like, but know. I can because it's my opinion. I, I, I get, it's I my get, opinion. It's my I get, opinion. I get that, but it will hurt, though. If I find you ugly, you're ugly. I find you ugly. Doesn't mean you're ugly. I find you ugly. If you find me ugly, doesn't mean I'm ugly. You find me ugly. How does that make sense? How does that make oh, sense? So you're trying to. You're trying to please everyone. You can't please everyone. You can't even please everyone in your family. You can't even please all your friends. How the hell are you gonna try and please everyone in the world, bro? <laughs> yeah. If I make content, if I make content, yeah. If I was to think of every emotional hypocritical, mm. judgmental person on social media, I would never make content. Mm. I make content based on what I find funny and what I enjoy. But if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I don't opinion. care. Yeah, yeah. Beauty doesn't exist. But Only what? opinions and your mindset exists. Yeah. That's it. And this is facts. There are people in this world mm. that would die to live our life, mm. to be in your shoes. Another thing, my dear brothers and sisters of 
Muslims of Islam. So this life, this this world we live in, for a non-believer, it's a paradise. Mm. For a believer, it's a prison. What does that mean? That means no matter what you get in this life, you're gonna always want more. You're never gonna be content, and you and that's what people think. Like there's nothing wrong with wanting more, but when it becomes your obsession, yeah. that is the that is the issue. When you become ungrateful, that is the issue. That is the issue. People become ungrateful. People, people don't look and think, Rob, look at the clothes I'm wearing. Look at the house I'm going to. Look at the family I have. Do you know what I mean? Not everything's perfect. Not everything's perfect, but like life could be so much worse. Like receive me right now, bro. My life could be a million times worse, bro. A million times worse. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just, it just, I just feel like people are so selfish in this world, man. People are so selfish. And I hate that. I think it's all like top down in it because you got you need families to like look after them. You got to tell them as well like if they're definitely going through something, you got to check up on them here and there. Innit? You, no, hundred percent check up on them. Check yeah. up on them. Hundred percent, hundred percent check up on them. It's yeah. like, but it's like to the point where you know that something in your life isn't going right, but you do nothing about it. And instead of changing something in your life, instead of doing something with your life, yeah. trying to help yourself, you want to sit there in a bubble. You're in a room with four walls. Yeah. Right, you see a window and you see a door, right? Now in this room is bricks, right? You can see that you can see you can see the outline of the brick. Yeah, it's made by bricks. Mm. Now, every day you sit there, pitying yourself, feeling sorry for yourself, yeah, making excuse for yourself, or thinking about the past and the future, and not thinking about the present. A a brick, a brick in that room, goes black, and day by day, brick by brick. Everything goes black, to the point where the door goes black. We can't see the door anymore. Mm. The window goes black. You can't see the window anymore. The room becomes black, right? Mm. Darkness, and then when you take this medication, it gives you that little glimmer of light, right? And then when the when it wears off, you're back in darkness, and you keep taking these pills to get that glimmer of light into that dark room, into that darkness. You just get a glimmer of light. And then, but it will never ever. You will never come out of that dark room mm. unless you flip and get up and change your mindset, and change your life. Facts. I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. I just feel like, bro, people. Well, it's so easy for me right now to pity myself and feel sorry for myself. All these people with all these followers are doing all these things, getting so much money. Why am I? Why am I not doing this? Why? Am, what, why am I not there? But bro, alhamdulillah, man, alhamdulillah, I have people that. Watch my content, yeah. like my content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the people I care about. Why should I be caring about? Mm. What's well, all about mindset? That's such a blessing, man. That's a blessing. Not really, though. No. No, because sometimes on social media, people. How can I say it? Being able to make somebody laugh is a blessing. Yeah. But people thinking you live a certain life. It's not really a blessing. Yeah. Because people feel like. Because people think like now, oh my god, a hundred, hundred, um, hundred thousand followers on Instagram, mm. four hundred uh, plus thousand followers on um, TikTok. Yeah. You must be making bread. Not really, not really. It says the man who got three lions. That's true. <laughs> three lions, three lions on TikTok. By the way, uh, if you go on TikTok live and you get sent a lion, it's like I think two hundred pound each or two. That's so crazy. People actually have got peas like that. Yeah, I know. Bro, three hundred pounds for what pixels? I know, but TikTok, but TikTok actually Pixel. take a percentage. Oh, TikTok pan up. Yeah. How much did they take? I think like 50 or 60, a lot. Huh? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah. 50, 60%? Yeah. So I'm, I'm buying them lying for what? How do people have that much money to actually spend on like what? These, yeah. these but you see like talking about money, yeah? Um, oh. Right now, alhamdulillah, yeah. the money I'm making for social media, right now, in the last couple months, the money I'm making for social media is the money I'll be making working nine to five. Yeah. So I can really leave my nine to five and focus on social media. Yeah. But what I do is Monday to Friday, I work two, three hours in the morning, mm. right? And I do like these, um, these school runs where I pick up these kids and I drop them to school. Really? But you know what that school is though? Where? Kids with autism. Ah. Do you know why I do that? Why? Because I'm scared, Amir. I'm scared that one day I start making real money. One day I'll start making real money mm. from social media, like big money. Yeah. And I'm scared of two things. And what's that? 
One I forget how hard it is To earn money Yeah Waking up Six Five Six o'clock in the morning mm. Driving a bus Picking up kids Two I become ungrateful Because sometimes in life It's very easy to Be ungrateful And when I wake up And I see these kids In these conditions mm. Autistic And I'm not talking about mm. Some are Some are okay But some are really bad Autistic yeah, yeah. And When I see them And I see their parents And I see The pain And the you see these parents mother, they're just drained because of the condition of their kids I just think bro alhamdulillah man oh. do you know what I mean sometimes I feel like oh, I'm like why don't I have more followers why am I not getting more views why am I not making more money but then that's what I'm saying this job makes me realise that that's not important well, yeah. that's the only reason why I do this job like mm. I'm not saying I enjoy it in terms of like I want to wake up 5, 6 o'clock in the morning yeah. go in the bus and pick up these kids and drop them to school and then come home because it's literally like three, two Two, three hours of my day yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. But it makes me remember yeah. how hard it is to make money. Mm. And it makes me understand that how lucky I am to live the life I live. And that's, all, that's the reason why I do that job. Honestly. Sometimes I think about that. Like, you mm. like just going to the internet randomly. I'm like, you know, there are kids in the favelas, isn't it? They've got no internet, nothing. nothing. That's so, so what I make from a week from that job, no, like two weeks from that job, I yeah. can make from one one promo video wow so them some all them hours i do yeah for them for that two weeks of like two three hours in the morning monday to friday mm. i can make that from one video mm. one video but i'm just scared that if if i make because people say oh money won't change me if i make money money won't change me but i'm more realistic i'm worried that money might change me i don't know you never know bro when you start making money how would i be would i be more arrogant but you tell me I I've been um, this uh, boxing promoter mm. wants me to fight two fights, one in October, yeah, and one in uh, February, mm. and the money for that is crazy. Who are you fighting? He didn't tell me. He didn't tell me who, you, but because we got agreed a contract and the yeah, 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 yeah. payment and stuff. But you, I don't want to ask how much you're getting. But is is is, is it? Oh. It's basically if you was to work minimum wage Monday to Friday. It's basically two years, two years salary for one fight. It's a lot. And I got two fights coming up in eight months. Wait, you're actually fighting? You're going to become like a... One of these boxes. No, no, no. But, 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 yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, but that's a whole other story. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. so, so, so. We'll go on to that, but yeah. I just want to say, like, right now, bro, yeah. I can, I can. Hey, bro, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I've seen people come from nothing and they, they've ended up somewhere. And they've become, bro, different person. But that's what, I'm, that's what I'm scared about. You see me, I'm not I'm not delusional. No, I think you have to constantly tell yourself. Yeah, yeah no, no, be, no, 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 no. But, but, be but I'm saying, drunk. but I'm saying yeah, like, this is, why, this is why I do this job um, in the mornings because I need to remember how yeah. hard it is to earn money. Yeah, I need yeah, yeah. to, yeah. sometimes in a selfish way, in a very selfish way, I need to see these kids and be like, and see these parents and be like, mm. bro, my life is very, very good. Forget yeah, yeah, followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget money. My life is very Your good. Living. Even even if I make it ends me, my yeah. life is very very good. Do you know what? Do you know when I think you realized that? I think when you first met Amina, and he told you you had nothing, and Amina was like, "Don't worry." Yeah. I think that's when that mindset happened. Yeah. That's yeah. where it began. In my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But I just because you always look back and think, "Yo, like." Yeah. It's true. It's true. I. I I don't know, man. I'm just. I don't want. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be. I don't want people to n meet me now and then when I make money, they'll be like, "Oh, he changed." No. Because because people that say money, money doesn't change me. I think that's absolute rubbish, man. You don't know until you actually make money. I really think you don't know until you make money. I don't, and I'm not talking about two, three, four yeah. thousand. I'm talking about big money. Mm. Like, we'll see. Hopefully, inshallah, we'll see. Ahalo, don't change, man. Bro, I don't want to, but I'm just saying, you never know, am I? No, 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 don't, no, don't do that. No, 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 no but, but try, try it, but try it, try it. But just I don't want to be one of them guys where I say, yeah, money, money won't change me. I don't know, I don't know. Inshallah, you it will won't. probably end up the Kurdish Andrew Tate. <laughs> bro, <laughs> if I had money like him, if I listen, bro, there's so many things I want to say, bro. So many things controversial I want to say, but bro, if I had money like him, oh my god, the way I speak my chest would be unbelievable. <laughs> Yo, grown ass man, he don't have a million dollars. 
cool. Okay, no, but please, yeah, to just try and keep telling yourself not to, not to, not to change, man. Sure. That's scary, bro. Yeah. But you see me. How can someone's yeah go on? Sorry, I'm already a private person though. Yeah, you're very private. You know me. I'm very private. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I keep very low key. I very I keep very much to myself. I don't. I don't. Listen, you follow me on Instagram. Mm. Do I post what I do day to day? No. No, I just post content. What? This is this is what I see on your story. Yeah. This is everything I see. Friends in the background. You going live. You having cheat meals, burgers and chips and wings. Literally, that is it. Literally. And you maybe on occasion filming that red Lambo <laughs> from cheat meals. That's Literally. it. Shout out cheat meals. <laughs> Shout out cheat meals. So see that free? That's free pr- promo there. That's Sponsor promo. me. Sponsor me. Yeah, cheat meals. Like, send me some burgers, bro. Listen, man. Whenever you want to go cheat meals, <laughs> shout me. I got you. I didn't even ask him to where they see. I'm giving them free promo. Yep. Hashim, this is unacceptable. No, he said the burgers are coming in 30 minutes. Oh, I, I got you. Is it? Are you for real? No. <laughs> 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 do you believe him? I actually do believe him. We can go if you want, but, I don't, but I'm not driving today. No, it's cool. Why, why didn't you drive today? Oh, yeah, yeah the traffic. Petrol. Petrol's like £2 oh. for a litre. Oh. You drive? I don't drive. Oh, so you two don't drive? No. I've got a license. I don't drive though. Such a lie. Ah, yeah, I got a license. Well, lie, I got. Oh, you see my head back in the day, he was shocked. Oh, don't show it, please. <laughs> I'll walk off, honestly, I'll walk off. If I knew you back then, I would never spoke to you, I swear to I would Listen, if if you ever approached me the way you look back then, <laughs> I would have never spoke to you. Honestly, have you seen it? Yeah, of course. I oh my God. I knew, I knew him back then. I know my hair wasn't that long then when I met him. Where was his friends? <laughs> Where were your friends? I was there. I'm sorry. No. Were you his friend back then? Okay. <laughs> Where were your friends? Nobody told you what you're doing in real life. <laughs> you see that? Pink license. Appreciate it. You're gonna have to blur everything out right now. Oh my God, you're so ugly. <sighs> That's so ugly. And oh I believe you, because you said earlier, if I think you're ugly, I'll get, stay with me for five minutes, I'll give my honest opinion. <laughs> you better, this one is his old one, the past one he had. When you first met him, this one. Oh, this haircut? Changed my life. This haircut has actually changed me. You know what it is? The way you know guys, yeah? <laughs> when try to hide their hairline yeah. and they have their hair covered in like that and they try to cover their hairline. That looks so ugly, bro. That looks nice. You look is, nice now. Yeah, yeah. I've got this today, by the way. It looks nice. Yeah. I can tell. What <laughs> do you mean you can tell? Oh, he's a barber as well, you know? Sure. Yeah, you can't tell. You can't tell. Mm-hmm. He's, a, he's a DP, producer, videographer. He's a haji. <laughs> But Walid's one was. Oh. I haven't watched that one. I need to watch. Watch Walid's one. I swear to God, if someone says to me which episode should I watch, I say Walid and Hans. Of course. Such a liar. Can you say that now? <laughs> Just on the topic of money, how I said I think it began when Amin, when you had no money when you met Amina. For someone you can't afford Meher, but they found a loved one. So essentially what I'm saying is, what if you don't have enough for Meher? So someone who has wants to get married, yeah. met somebody but can't afford me- yeah. Meher. Islamically, I think it says the least the better. Is that what it says? I think so. I think it's... Well, I think yeah, so. Hum- you have to be humble. Listen, be man. This is, this is going to be a message for all the sisters here. Yeah? Okay. Sisters, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> <sighs> um, if you guys don't know, I'm a certified qualified therapist. Okay. Um, to all my Muslim sisters, yeah, to all the to, to all the Islamic sisters watching this, if you have a man who wants to marry you but can't afford the mahr that you and your mom believe that you justify, yeah. If you truly believe that he is the man for you, if you truly believe that not only will he be a husband, but the main thing, he is the man that you trust to be the father of your children then marry him no matter what do not let gold or mahar come between you two now if family is putting pressure on you family is putting pressure on you because of respect for your name really and truly they're putting pressure on you to make themselves as a family look good so they can go to 
family gatherings and say, my daughter went for this much of my head. Her husband offered this much of my head. Do not lose a man because of my head. Now, if you are somebody who are who's um, materialistic and you know feel like, oh, I deserve this much, that's your right. But if your man can't get married, um, can't afford it, then please tell him straight away. Because there's no point of you prolonging a man mm. when you know he can't afford it. It makes no sense. Yeah. Me straight away, I told Amina from day one. Amina, well not day one, but when I decided to get married to her, I said, Amina, look, I want to get married to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't afford my hair. Mm. I can afford a certain amount, but I can't afford a certain, I can't afford what you deserve or what your family want. So Amina told her family straight, look, I want to marry him. This is what you can afford. Yeah. I want to accept it. Now imagine if Amina, imagine if Amina was, how can I say it? If Amina was like, no, I deserve more. No, I want that much in my head. We would have never got married. We would have never got married. Just the idea of just material is getting in the way. Do you know what I mean? I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. People, it people. is what it is. But the Look, idea of the material Amir, getting in the way. Bro, the issue, the issue is, the issue is, yeah. Ah. It's not even couples anymore. It's the families as well. Like, oh. pardon me. The couples and the families all live for people to impress people. I told Amina, I said, Amina, look, before you marry me, I am somebody, I do not give a damn about what people think about me. If me and you as a husband and wife believe this is better, yeah. I don't care what people think. She was the same. So that's why I think so far, like I'm happy with her, she's happy with me because, because we don't live for people. Mm. Yeah. There's couples out here that genuinely live for people. Like how can you live for somebody? Like if it's your wife, your mother, fair enough, but how can you live for a stranger, bro? Mm. Like Amir, how can I make a decision in my marriage based on what I think you may, you may think how does that make sense? How how can I make a decision? How can I make a decision in my marriage based on what I think other people might think? Makes no sense. Mm. Makes no sense. You have to think about, like, look, my advice, yeah? Advice. For the love of Allah, please, it's 2022. If you get married, don't spend money on a flipping wedding. To have people that's gonna come to your wedding, dress up, eat free food, dance, take pictures, and then leave and won't even care about you. Spend that money on a honeymoon. Yeah, I'd rather travel. Spend that money traveling travel. the world. Yeah, spend yeah, that yeah. money. Spend that money going to nice restaurants. Spend that money on actually enjoying your marriage. Spend that money on your marriage. You see, with that money, you can go on like three, four destinations. Bro, three, two, three to four destinations. Let's say, let's say, like a wedding costs five k, ten k, fifteen k, twenty k, whatever. Yeah, do yeah. you know how much you can experience? How much you can do with your wife? Mm. But oh wait, sorry. You go put on a suit. She put on a white dress. You go book a hall tables pay for everybody they'll come yeah man you go you yeah, see that man. money that you said you'll pay back it's right there bro listen it's right enjoy there. your marriage people don't enjoy their marriages people live to impress people on social media you see me mm. yeah if you listen be honest yeah me and i mean is content on, on social media yeah. yeah what do we do i have a phone on my face she's in the background we talk we argue or, or whatever the yeah, whatever yeah. the video is some of these couples man oh my god some of the content they do it's just so cringe, bro. It's so cringe. It's so cringe. What are you doing? What are you doing? What kind of content? It's just cringe, bro. Is it just like a like an argumentative content? No, man. It's just oh man. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, it's like, um, picking picking um um whoever wins picks the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Oh my God, he won. Where we going? Stop that shit, man. Stop that shit. And then, and then when you stop recording, and then when you stop recording, and you two are arguing, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Stop doing shit for flipping video, bro. But what the flip is that, Amir? Though you're on video. Oh my God, winner picks the restaurant. Rock paper scissors shoot. <laughs> Go <laughs> s- <laughs> bro, me, me, my content, yeah, I'll be honest, my content, yeah. Bro, listen, I'll be honest, my content is not for everybody. 
But I don't really think my content is cringe. It may be cringe, I don't know. But to do that, you know, to put music in the background, oh my God. Or like, um, there's one girl, there's one girl, yeah? Um, she was recording, deep it, bro! <laughs> She's recording herself, yeah? Walking out the front door, her husband comes, apparently recites out to Kusi. They put music in the background of the video. They put music in the background of the video and he's reciting out to Kusi going, <laughs> with his hot breath. How does that even make sense? How does that make sense? Bro, look, find me that video. I, no, not right now. No, but you know how cringe but that I is, though. <laughs> you're recording yourself. You're recording yourself. Yeah, walking outside the window. Yeah. yeah. He comes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with your life, man? What are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> oh my days! I smashed my juicy. That was the most Arab thing I've ever seen. No, bro. Honestly, what are you doing? What, like, what, what, like, what are you doing? Me, me, me. Do you ever see me post like stuff like that? No. It's so cringe, oh, guys. Look, my wife done for me. Do you, do you, do you? When you make videos with Amina, do you ever look, look, look at me like this is this is cringe, man? This this is no. like never. No. Not even Amina. Amina will look at me and be like, no, this is perfect. No. Because because I do it for comedy purposes. Yeah. Yeah, I but do it so, so so people can laugh. I know you don't care about other people's opinions, but let's say if they might be like, that's cringe. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? They, your perspective on their content might be the same on yours. That's fine. Yeah. Just just because I find you cringe doing this, <laughs> doesn't mean that, bro. Them two videos got, them two videos I'm talking about mm. got so many likes and so many comments. People liked it. Yeah, I can imagine because yeah. that's what people like. People yeah. like cringy content. Yeah, yeah, but but that shit is all fake. That shit's all fake. Yeah. So what, what, what do you mean? I can promise you, I can promise you, they've never ever outside the camera been like, okay, uh, where should we go? You hungry? Yeah. What the flip is this? What's I the other one? It's the, um, the card roulette, but in a relationship. You know who has to pay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. And then, yeah, this is this is why I always say this is why I always say, yeah, guys, please, guys, please, yeah, for somebody who's on social media who knows social media, when you see a certain couple make a certain video or get certain views and certain likes or comments or following over, please do not believe their content. In terms of like what you see doesn't always mean that's how they live their life. That's coming from me. If you see me and Amina making a joke or banter or something, something, don't always believe it. Don't always believe it, please, guys. I don't know why people look at someone's life. Like, wallahi, wallahi, wallahi. Yeah, this is a rule yeah. that I have in my house. Yeah, mm. and it's a rule that I've made with my wife from the first day. You moved in before. No, no, no. I'm saying before I put the ring on my wife's finger. I yeah. said to my wife, I said, listen to me. Yeah. Don't you dare ever compare me to another man. Mm. And I will never ever dare compare you to another woman. You know why that is, brother? Why? Because the second I compare you, the second I compare you to any woman, the second you compare me to any man, yeah? yeah. Automatically, automatically, you have downgraded me. Oh yeah, true, facts. In my yeah. eyes, there isn't a single woman that close that comes close to my wife. Mm. That in my eyes, in my mind, there isn't a single, there's nothing for me to compare. Cause nothing come close to my wife. But there's people watching social media, comparing their life to others. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? <laughs> See, even Siri's confused, honestly. <laughs> Bro, honestly, like people watch couples and they think, why is my relationship not like this? Hmm. Babes, why are we not playing rock, paper, to shoot? <laughs> No, 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 no. Honestly, rock, paper, scissors. No, honestly, honestly, guys, listen, if you, please. Yeah. If your if your relationship is going in a certain way and you see certain couple going a certain way, do not believe what you see on social media, because I promise you, every couple argues, every couple fights, every couple has good and bad moments, mm. every couple goes through happiness, yeah, 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 yeah. sad times, bad people, times. People genuinely assume you and Amina are like like very like very very good, like no arguments, very happy. But if if a relationship don't argue, but I find that so so weird. Of course. Right. Do you not find that strange? How can a couple be very happy for two I years I always say I, this. I, I, that's so creepy. I always say this, yeah. I find that scary. Listen to me. This is why they call me a certified qualified therapist. <laughs> Bro, listen to me, trust me. What I tell you earlier in the podcast, five minutes with me and I'll change your life. 
If you are in a relationship and everything is going so well, and I'm not even talking about the honeymoon period, I'm talking about when you're like four, five months in, six months in, yeah. and things are going so well, yeah, and you're thinking, wow, things are going so well. And it's just going well, going well, going well. Something is going wrong. <laughs> Something is going wrong. If you two are not arguing, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying every day, yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you two are not arguing, like one, but yeah. yeah, if you two are not like, Letting things off your chest. If something's, if, if everything's just too good to be true, you know yeah. what that is? Because it's too good to be true. Something's going on. Yeah. It's Guarantee you, one of you are cheating. But listen. Do you know what I mean? Imagine they're like in a relationship for two, three years. You just see them holding hands and can't stop smiling. Bro, that's weird to me, bro. That's scary. Nah, bro. You're the happiest couple for three years. Bro, shut up, bro. bro. Man, it's shut all, up. It's all, it's all flipping. Stuff. People believe what they see. And they get so proud of it. Oh, me and my man never argue for like two, three years. <laughs> man, shut up. Me and my man never. Shut up, man. <laughs> shut up. What are you talking about? You and your man never argued. Name me. Name me one couple that's never argued. Go and tell me. No, no, no. no seriously. Name me one couple that's never argued. You tell me never argued. Yeah, man, he's cheating or you're cheating. One of you are cheating. One hundred percent. One of you are cheating. Or one of you are doing something. Flipping out. I've never argued with my man. Shut up, man. Stop lying. Stop lying. You ass, yo. People like that. People like that definitely argue every day. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. There's no point hiding it. There's nothing wrong with it. What's this about the the woman who came onto your live and she happens to be a murderer? Who's that? I don't know, bro. I was on live with this girl for flipping over an hour. Yeah. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> as soon as she left, everyone told me, oh, murderer, 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 murderer. I done some Google search. I said murderer. So I said, you guys really sat there, watched me talk to somebody who's a flipping murderer and didn't say nothing to me. You waited till she left and then told me she's a murderer. What the flip is wrong with you? <laughs> 2,000 people was, was um, on the live. Not one person said anything about the murderer. But bro, you don't really check your flipping comments in the live. Well, her story was so interesting, so engaging. Yeah. I was so focused. I don't want to make them. I don't want to miss nothing. When she left, I saw murderer, murderer, murderer. I thought everyone was taking the piss. Yeah. I googled it. Mm. I said, flip her now. Yeah, man. That's crazy. You got to be careful in these lives, you know, man. Bro, I get back. I get like locked off every day. People complain. Okay. Yeah. The boxing. <gasps> boxing. Next 15, next 15 minutes. Boxing. Right. Cool. You have been offered to fight someone. Mm. Big Moolah. <clears throat> Who is it? Can you, can, you, can you give us details? Well, uh, I asked who. Wait, wait, is it actually legit? Someone actually, someone who's, so what, written contract, everything, they've said. No, 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 no. Still no. beginning. We, right. We're just yeah. talking for a week so far. Yeah. It's a boxing promoter. <coughs> yeah. It's a fight in October in London yeah. and a fight in February next year in Leeds. Do you reckon you're physically ready for that? Bro. Um, physically, no. Right now, no. <laughs> physically, right now, no. So I have to get in shape. But even if I do get in shape and I do boxing yeah. training and stuff, bro, I'm so scared, man. Why? For someone with a man of many opinions and bro, so, much, so much anger built inside of him about- Bro, I've never had a fight, fight, bro. I've never had a fight. I don't want to get knocked out. Uh-oh. But if the but, but the money's good. So the money's good, I'll um, smile remember, into the ring. Remember, you can't say it can't be negative though. Come on, no, believe, no, no, no. believe, bro, listen, believe, win, believe. As long as, uh, as, long as they put Manifest. me in the ring with somebody that's, that's at my level, yeah. I have a decent chance. Yeah. With somebody who's unboxing before, yeah, it's not looking good. Bro, imagine if you lose the fight, you go home, I mean, it's going to be like, my man's weak. Um, your man's weak, but your man's got bread. So what do you want? Do you want a strong man who's broke? Or do you want a weak man who's got bread? No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me. Do you want a man who gets knocked out but's got bread or a man who can knock out people but is broke? All right then, okay. All right then, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. I don't want, as long as I'm getting bread, bro, and the bread is actually Crazy, yeah. From what from what they tell me, it's crazy. Mm. The one in October is like one one point five two thousand people um, stadium capacity. Two thousand people, but the one in Leeds is like ten 
thousand no. people. Yeah, man. That's basically pro. Yeah. Um, wait, 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 wait. You see when you walk out to the ring, yeah? What tune are you playing? Brother, that's the least of my worries. Me right <laughs> I, now. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What tune are you playing? Oh, um, okay, wait, cool. wait, wait, and, 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 and who's walking out with you? Mm, all right, cool, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk out by myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna walk out by myself. I don't know why he's laughing. I don't know why he's laughing. I don't know why he's laughing. <laughs> so, oh my uh, days! The undisputed Hanuman. He's just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. No, no security now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> that's life, bro. That's life. That's life. <laughs> See what birds I put. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. But do you know why that is? Or do you know why that is? Why, why? Because I'm gonna walk into that ring by myself. Yeah. I'm gonna walk back out by myself. And the song is um, Many Men. <laughs> Many men <laughs> wish death upon me. Blood in my eye, dog, and I can't see. I'm trying to be what I destined to be. And hate is trying to knock me out. Bro, yeah. that's the funniest. That's, 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 that's a good 100%. answer. You should be scared. You know what I'm thinking though? I'm thinking, imagine I'm good though. Because yeah. that's something I've never actually done. I've never actually boxed. I've never actually fought somebody. I've never been into a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine I'm actually good. Imagine I'm actually like the next. Like Mike Tyson? No, like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Tyson Fury. Imagine that I'm that good. Mm. Because people look at me now with a belly. Yeah. Think, eh. Bro, one belly flop, that's it. No, no, no. But if I get one. into shape, look, that's, that's about gym. That's quite impressive. Yeah, yeah. That's what about gym? <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Why well, I don't know why you're laughing. That's about Jim, though. Look at the tricep. That's, no, no. Well, I, I'm being serious. Well, I'm being serious. Well, I'm being serious. Well, I'm being serious. Well, I'm being serious. Don't laugh. Come on. You have my feelings. Well, I'm going to try. It's like a squashy. It's some burden. I don't go Jim. I don't go Jim. Sorry, sorry. I cool. I go, go. When, sorry, sorry, sorry. If I do win the fight and get crazy bread, don't don't message me because I'm gonna block you. <laughs> um, I think if he does come onto the podcast, he's gonna have people with him. Security. Oh, if I oh, oh. Security in the corner, just after the fight, <laughs> after the fight, I'll come on the podcast. Hundred <gasps> percent. The fight's in October. Yeah. That one is not hundred percent. That's fifty fifty because it's only three months. I because yeah. now we're in June, June, July, August, September, October. So it's gonna be like three and a half months. Yeah, it's not really enough time for me to get fit. But the one in February next year is eight months, eight, yeah. eight and a half months away. But now you train hard. Yeah, yeah, but that one, I think that one's almost 95 percent. I just yeah. gotta confirm the details and the P's and that. Listen, listen, I want to be very honest with everyone. I am doing it for the money. <laughs> I'm not doing it because I love the sport. I'm not doing it because I have a passion for it. I couldn't care less about boxing. I have never watched boxing. I don't pay for the PPV, the pay-per-view. I've never been to arena. I do not like boxing, but the money they're offering is good. I'm doing it for the money. Mm. I'm being very honest. So if you see me get knocked out and I'm still smiling, it's because I'm making good money. Just know, just know that I'm smiling because whether I got knocked out or knocked somebody out or draw, whatever, I'm making good money. That's why I'm doing it. I'm being very yeah, honest. Good, good. I'm not gonna say it be like, yeah, bro, listen, man. I've been love, listen, I love boxing, man. I, I've been wanting to do boxing for a long time. No, I'm doing it for the money. If the money wasn't there, I wouldn't do it. But the money, alhamdulillah. But do not, do your best. Of course, of course, of course. Knock this guy once, out. once it's confirmed. Yeah. Listen, have you seen Rocky? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna, see, you're gonna go up the steps. Dun, 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 dun. Is, that, yeah. is that how it goes? Yeah. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the on the fight. Right? Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, man. But, um. I oh, see that. After boxing part three, you're gonna come on. Yeah, as long as, as long as I don't get a black eye. If I get knocked out, that's fine. But as long as I don't get black eye or brain damage, the rest hey, of you might, bro, you're, you're gonna get injured. Every boxer gets injured. Why can't we, that's the song in it, that she walk out to. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> Why can't we be friends? <laughs> no, I beg you, just let's go easy, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, please, yeah. brother. I'm, I'm just for the money. Just take it easy, yeah? Allow it. Bro, I would, but I don't think it's allowed. I'll, I'll tell him, I'm like, bro, listen, do you want to win? Do you want to win? Okay, cool. Third round. Right hook right here. I'll go down. <laughs> Ten count, you win. <laughs> no, but I can't do that. Wait, wait. So if you, but if you lose, do you get less money? No, but you get. Are you, are, you, are you allowed to talk about this, by the way? Um, he didn't tell me I can't talk about it. 
Ah, oh, fair enough. No, but all I'm gonna say is that I think you get a bonus if you win. If you, you get a bonus if you KO. Yeah. Oh, then try and win. Get that bonus, bro. Yeah. If you're doing it for the money. If he kills me, knock him out. If he spits the money, I'll let him kill. I'll let him, I'll let him kill me. If he spits the money, I'll let him. How are you gonna know when you wake up? Before you walk in. No, honestly. But but boxing, man. I hope. Yeah. As long as I don't get bumped, I hope I get paid. No, contract signed, everything. Yeah, yeah. Once it's signed, yeah, that's man. it. You're good yeah, to go. Yeah. <sighs> I'm really scared, though, man. <laughs> While I'm being serious, like walking out in front of all them people. And the thing is, yeah, I try to close my eyes and think of me in shape, but I've never been in shape. I've never been in shape in my life. So the only thing I can see is just me with my belly, do you know what I mean? So I need to get in shape. Maybe maybe this might be my motivation to get to get in shape. I've been, mm. I've been wanting to get in shape for a long time. Mm. Maybe this might be my motivation. But you never know, I might be good though. So then I might have a, you know- That might actually get, might push you to actually, you know, losing weight. Because, because, because if I do the boxing, yeah. I, might, I might reach out to more people. Yeah. A bigger audience, mm. and then I might get good. So I might fight bigger people with yeah. bigger names, yeah, yeah. and then who knows, man? Who knows? I might be the next big thing. Is that right? Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Hello. I appreciate you for coming on. Thank you so much. Let this episode surpass the first one. I beg, please, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. All of that. All, all of that. I don't think you guys understand. Liking, liking and commenting, and subscribing does a big difference. It doesn't make a big difference. Yeah. Just even, like even responding to comments, any questions that you want to ask him for his next video, any dilemmas, yeah. leave it in this video. Just, just guys, just please like and comment. Yeah, like and comment. Just like and comment. That's all you got to do. Just like and comment, and that's it. Leave the rest. Cool. Leave the rest. I appreciate you, Hashim. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Oh, good. <laughs> I want to thank God, man. <laughs> I want to thank my mother. Um, it's a great honor, you know, for this award to be on this podcast. Um, I want to say to all the kids out there, um, if you have dreams, um, don't let anyone crush them. Okay, mm. don't let anyone crush your dreams. You can achieve your dreams. 